Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. When last we met, I had just finished through the Clone Wars. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so now it's time to open up the next new chapter in the Star Wars era. And the only book that we start with is Episode 3, the official novelization by Matthew Stover. Now, what can I say about this book? I don't have to explain it because it is about the movie. But again, just like I've talked about with Episode 1 and Episode 2 novels, Episode 3 even goes further into the expanded universe than the other novels ever did. Now, I know I've had fun talking about different little scenes that episode Terry Brooks mentioned in Episode 1, uh, that uh, Ari Salvatore mentioned in Episode 2, but now it's Matthew Stover's turn to do it, and boy was he excited to do this. Uh, folks, Matthew Stover is a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, he reads all the books, so for him to get the chance to write some of these books, which he wrote a few, um, he was just glowing at the opportunity to write the novel to episode 3. Uh, and he did a great job. A lot of you who have already read this book know after the first few chapters you still haven't gotten to the opening of the movie. And that is incredible. Matthew Stover adds so much behind the scenes, character development, fleshing out uh, side storylines that were planted throughout the movie. I mean, he delivers out of all of the official novels to the movies. This one, folks, is the best. And again, I have to say this, like I've said for the other two movie novelizations, if you are skipping these books because you think, well, I've seen the movie, I don't really need to read the book, it's just about the movie, you're doing yourself a disservice. And I really think that for episode three. And once again, just like I've said for the other two books, I think the novel is way better than the movie. Now, of course, I'm gonna be wrong in a lot of people's eyes because a lot of people love that movie. They think that's the best of the prequels. And it may be the best of the prequels, but uh, the novel is super good. I remember watching this movie and then the next day, I cracked open the book. I had the book. I didn't want to read it yet because I didn't want any spoilers. And I remember reading it. And I remember getting a few chapters in going, he hasn't even started talking about the opening of the movie. And then I realized, wait, Matt, that's a good thing. <laughs> and then there were tons of chapters and tons of stories within the book because it kind of talks about, it's kind of like, hey, this is what happened in the past. This is what's happening now. It kind of catch you up. You know, with all the little, hey, I know I haven't talked about Yoda in a while, but here's what he was doing uh, back on Kashyyyk. And now here's the uh, what's going on now as you tune in during the movie. Now, I actually spoke to Troy Denning. Uh, uh, this was back last year at Pensacon. And I asked him, out of all the authors that you spoke with and worked with on New Jet Order, which one was your favorite? And he said Matthew Stover. And he said, this guy just loves Star Wars. He gets all excited talking about it. He said they would talk on the phone and Matthew would be like, what if I do this? Ooh, what if I do that? And he said he got kind of irritated with him because he Matthew would always change his story. He's like, Matthew, you can't do that because that's going to impact our story. He went, oh yeah, right. Okay, so... I mean, he said the guy just has so much excitement over Star Wars. And folks, you can definitely feel that in this novel. This is written by a guy who's not only just a good writer, but a fan of the series he's writing for. And so for that reason, it is well worth your time. Anyway, folks, that is it. That's all the time I have for now. I'll see you next time with another video.